Welcome back to the show. Beautiful. I was mentioning as you came across, you look you look wonderful. You look like a kid for God's sake. Thank you. Sakes. I've been maintaining the temple, Dave. Mm -hmm. I've been maintaining the temple. Doing a good job. I went to the uh, I went to the doctor, and he said, you know those high blood sugar numbers you've been yes. dealing with mm -hmm. since you were 36? Well, you've graduated. <laughs> you've got type 2 diabetes, young oh, man. So I well, it's controllable and uh, th through diet mostly. And you know, something's going to kill us all, Dave. Yeah. Something's going to kill well, us all. Well, so. good for you and congratulations. Thank you. And by the way, a nice message to others. I, I suffer from the high blood sugar. Had there to go, go on a special diet myself. Well, they said my doctor said, look, if you can weigh as much as you weighed in high school, mm -hmm. you will essentially be completely healthy. Will not have type two diabetes. Right. And then I said to her, well, I'm going to have type two diabetes. <laughs> Because there is no way I can weigh as much as I did in high school. What, what did you weigh in high school? I weighed both? 96 pounds in high school. <laughs> and um, I was a very... Rail thin. I was a very skinny boy. And you know, most of that was that big white afro that I wore back in the 70s. <laughs> big hair. You remember the big hair, don't oh, you, guys? Oh, man, we all had it. You bet. <laughs> what? Really? Even I, even I. There you go. There you go. It was yeah. a look. It was a look. Um, hey, congratulations on the sign up. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're very going much. all the way to 2015, aren't That's you, Dave? Right. Yeah. All That's the way. Right. All the way. Now. That's right. Look, I'm not. I don't know showbiz math, <laughs> yeah, but, no, you know, this is late 2013. Right. Yeah, to me, with vacations and holidays, yeah. you signed on for another eight months. That's what I think. <laughs> Till two, honestly, to 2015? It's fine. Man, man, boy, it's throw fine. down the gauntlet there. They're all, you know what? Arsenio heard that, he canceled the show. It's fine. He said, what's, what's the point? Dave's going to 2015. That's right, I know. Exactly, yeah. Man, oh, man. Now, listen, uh, I want to talk to you about this uh, Captain Phillips movie. Holy God, what a film. It's, uh, it came out good. It's hard yeah. to make a good movie. When, when did you make this film? Because we, it seemed like the turnaround from the actual event to the release of the film is pretty quick. We finished it about the 4th of July, 2012, so it's a little over a year ago. Um, and, uh, you know, it, 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 you know, I guess the, the studio bought the rights up pretty quick, and there you go, lickety-split. Uh, who, tell me about the cast playing the, uh, the Somali pirate. Okay, all right, these are uh, my good friends, Barkad, Barkad, Mahat, and Faisal. <laughs> Two guys named Barkad. It's not like one guy named Barkad, Barkad. Right. Was... <laughs> <laughs> Barkat Abdi and Babko Abdi, uh, I can't remember. It's like a Boutros, long name. Like Boutros, Not like that. Not like that, These, no. these were guys, first of all, they're very talented. They're from sweet where? Guys. Where are they from? All right, they are Somalis. Uh, actually, Faisal is American Somali, but his parents are from Somalia. And they all live in, in Minneapolis. And they were, they were, yeah, the big, big Somali community that, like, you, you know, like how in, in New York you have Chinatown, Little Italy? Yes. Well, in Minneapolis, you got Little Somalia. And you could go there and eat, and it's it's actually a very vibrant community. And these guys were sitting at home one day. Uh, Barkat Abdi was, who plays the main the captain, Musi, and he, M Musi, and he Musi. was watching the news. And this thing came on the news: casting call. Somalis wanted for Tom Hanks movie, which is hilarious because I was sitting at home in L.A., and this thing came on on the on the TV: uh, movie stars wanted for a Somali movie, and so we both isn't, answered isn't that interesting. the thing. That's and out of the parking lot was Ben Affleck, George Clooney. <laughs> well, that's where they belong. Matt Damon. My they were all. We yeah, were all lining they up. They belong in the parking but I lot. I got the part. Yeah. Uh, I uh, got uh, 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 Tom, this raises uh, more questions. What about uh, Minnesota, northern Minnesota, Minneapolis, St. Paul? What about that region of the world attracted a Somalian community? I believe uh, a bunch of Somalis were there, and the community just grew and grew. And, and, and actually, Abdi's an amazing story, because he left Somalia when the war was going on. 
uh, and was able to escape into Yemen, where he had to learn. He only knew, knew two words of uh, of Arabic, and then they won the uh, the the lottery, the green card lottery, the uh, immigration lottery, and they got to come to the United States. And their I guess their sponsors lived in Minneapolis with all the other many Somalians. And he started high school knowing no English. And I said, Well, how did you learn English? He says, Well, his Somali friends, and he watched Jackie Chan movies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Which is like, no wonder your English is so good, my friend. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> but, makes all uh, sorts of things. But now, Tom, when, before they left uh, their homeland, yes. were they actors then? No, but you know, look, Dave, uh, show business has this, like a racket element to it. If, as long as you are not self conscious about a camera looking at you and the fact that you're pretending to be somebody else you can figure out the marks and the lights relatively quickly and these guys were all I mean relatively quickly I'm not trying to make it seem easier than it. <laughs> um, but the being able to pretend you're somebody day in and day out that requires storytelling chops yeah. and these guys all had storytelling chops. no 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 uh, who did the, the the casting on this I mean I don't want to get too deep into the crawl but but how how were how did they get to this movie they, other than the TV as, as Paul Greengrass, our director, would say, well, there's no acting communities in London or Los Angeles. Anyway. So they went to where the biggest Kamal, uh, Somali community was, and that's in Minneapolis. And there are clubs and music and, and, and newspapers right. and media and whatnot. It's just that you and I, oddly enough, don't really read those Somali newspapers. Right. Either. Well, <laughs> speak for yourself. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> Uh, but uh, the, the scene where they all gather with great vigor uh, on the beach and they've, oh, yes. they've been commanded to, come on now, we're falling off our quota of hijacked yeah. vessels. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, and let's go. It, to me, it's like you're just standing right there. Is, is that true yes. to the launching of a, of a hijacking raid? The, the, the Somali pirates is not like some glorified version of Captain Crunch. This is, there are, there are, there are, there, it is an organ, international organized crime. There are big bosses that send down orders and then enforcers that go out and get the, the real guys that, that do the work mm -hmm. and they have to go out and try to hijack ships. And, and when a hijacking is successful and money changes hands or goods from the, the vessel yeah, change guess, hands, yeah. what, where does that money, who, who gets it? Is it the one guy? Is it distributed to the, the people well, in Somali who are starving? You know, as is in, uh, in Richard Phillips' book, there are, there are some shipping lines from, say, less incorporated nations or, or let, uh, more nefarious corporations uh, that are willing to drop a couple of million bucks in cash on the deck of some ship and to make the pirates go away because mm -hmm. they somehow they can save money. There's also corporations that won't pay anything and just let the hostages be taken. And these are from less established places than, say, the Western world. Right. And they, there are still... Um, Ho uh, hostages being held in various parts of Somalia that were kidnapped, uh, uh, you know, months ago. Mm -hmm. And they're just sitting there waiting because they come from places where I, I, they don't care about the law so much. Is it, is it uh, holding steady? Is it on the rise? Is it declining? Uh, I couldn't tell you that, sir. But uh, in, in your case of your story, uh, Captain Phillips' story, there were no arms, uh, no defense no, mechanism um, on the ship. No, this is interesting because everybody says, well, why didn't they have guns? And uh, one, it was an international law. You could not carry guns into an international port if you were a commercial freighter. And secondly, as Captain Phillips said himself, you know, I don't think we want, you know, guns in the guy's sea bags because then they start solving problems over, hey, that was my French toast, you know, that kind right. of thing. Right. Hey, come on, uh, any, got any threes? Yes, you do. You know, they don't, <laughs> you know, during the card games, on, during their breaks. So they don't want to do that. And a ship this size and this fast had never been boarded because the, the hull is too high. Mm -hmm. These small ships could not get Get up it's an inter interesting point of fact in, in the movie, uh, these guys who come back the second time actually carrying their own ship boarding ladder. Yeah, yeah, uh, like they went to Home Depot and picked it right. up, something like that. And it's I assume that's something they had the made bit. themselves, yeah. probably. On the, on the, and actually, uh, Rich Phillips actually said, what did you think when you saw that ladder? He said, I thought they'd stolen it from some swimming pool somewhere. Mm, yeah. And he yeah. said, and he literally said, they have a ladder? You know, with a question mark yeah. on the end of it. Now, did you get to know the, your fellow actors, the, the Somali pirates? Was it uh, yeah, between always, takes? Was it a lot of fun? They always argued as soon as the tape w uh, the take was over, but it was always in Somali. What were they arguing about? I don't know. Stuff like, hey, I thought you were to say that line soon. I was waiting for you to light the cigarette. You would eat. Hey, no, I don't light the cigarette till the next scene. <laughs> hey, guys, shut up, shut up. It's almost lunchtime. That's what I think they were. That's <laughs> what I think yeah. they were saying. <laughs> But uh, I do not know. Is I it possible know. they were planning an actual hijack? No, well, no. 
<laughs> now, mm. now the other thing you'll never know. You, as, as you got it, I'm just asking. <laughs> Gabe's just asking. <laughs> just asking. He's Another just movie, asking. Yeah. He doesn't know. Now this is uh, uh, probably has no answer to this question, but. Uh, this movie is going to be enormous around the world, and actual Somali pirates will uh, see the film. I'm not saying that they pay tickets. To do. No, <laughs> yeah, not to do. But it, it, will that put the uh, pretend pirates in any kind of jeopardy? Uh, the, actually, there are many different factions of pirates, and they all are known to kill each other and steal each other's hostages and take the ship away. It's like it's been hijacked, and other pirates come on and hijack it from the hijackers. So they don't get along, mm -hmm. the pirating factions. Does that answer your question, Mr. Showbiz host? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's right. It but does, we're saying, what have we taught the pirates? Is that what you're no, saying? No, no, no. I, I am just saying that uh, some actual pirates are sitting at home, and they decided not to become actors. Oh. And they're watching the movie, and they say, oh, there's Larry and Ted and oh, Kitty. I see what you're saying. And then, wait a minute, those bastards are making us look bad. <laughs> we're the real pirates. We're going to go after them. Man, this is a dilemma I don't think anybody has paid any attention to. <laughs> You are, you are you thinking should, this out too much, just, man. You just sit there and worry about your blood sugar. We'll be right back with Tom Hanks, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, you know, like I say, I joke. It's hard to make a good movie, but it's hard to make a good movie. You mentioned uh, uh, Ca Captain Phillips. R Richard Phillips? Richard, he, he, has, he had this pick. This is how he got his wife, his pickup. Hey, hi, I'm Rich. No. See, and that, and that which does not work for me. No. I can't, actually it can. Um... <laughs> I believe you're married. I've been happily no, married believe, for 25 yeah, years. I use it on my yeah. wife. It worked once. Now, what kind of a guy it. is he? Because, and, and by the way, what a tremendous movie. And what great performances. Uh, uh, and and, and in, the, in the end of the movie, and I won't, I guess we know how it ends. Spoiler alert. Yeah, no, no, no. But what, how, how is the guy now? He, uh, he, first of all, he's an accomplished merchant mariner. And that is nothing to sneeze at. He went to the academy, uh, studied for years, and he had, has had high seas adventures brought about by Mother Nature and chemical fires and things like and that. And he, he, in the movie, he's portrayed as a guy who kind of knows what to do if you're being uh, attacked by pirates. Uh, there is a training, I guess, and some protocols that you have to know. Yes, he does. He, he, and he was the captain, so it was his responsibility. Off, off, uh, uh, onshore, when he's not working, as happy-go-lucky mm -hmm. and easy-going as How long was he off after the trauma of this event? Uh, I think he stayed away for the maybe... Uh, 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 six months, eight months, but he, he's gone back to work. Now, not in the same part of the, of the world, but he's gone back and been a captain for the same kind of ship. He's uh, very proud of the job uh, that merchant mariners do. He's doing sunset cruises in the Bahamas now, isn't he? Uh, I think he does the fr uh, four, 4 to 8 p.m. booze cruise from... Um, oh, man. How long were you actually... How long were you actually on board? Uh, were you on one of those big... Uh, yeah, yeah. Of we were on the Maersk uh, Alexander, which is an exact replica mm -hmm. of the Alabama, and we had a, sh uh, uh, I want to say a Danish, much of the, the crew was Danish. Uh, there's also, there's a lot of Filipinos, people from all over the world, right. and they were very, they were fabulous as far as teaching its procedure of how to be on... Be were on were a, you actually at sea for Yeah, we were. We were off Malta. We would go down, it's amazing, Dave, you go down to the port, and you, there's only one way onto this ship, up the gangway, and everybody signs in, and then it pulls away, and you are out at sea on, in, in six minutes. It's incredible how quick they turn these things around. And, and how, what was the longest period of time you and the crew lived on the ship off, off the coast of London? Oh, we always came in for dinner. We, we were done at the... Uh... No. Well, yeah. No. Well, we'd go out, we'd go out like 10 miles out, yeah. and you'd just go back and forth, you'd go 20 miles this way, turn around 20 miles that way, just... Uh, Going and going and going. And although there were some days where they said we can't shoot because the swells were magnificent, uh, huge. And there was one day we tried to shoot in the lifeboat on the high seas, and it was hilarious, man. We were, uh, we and the cast could sit in our chairs, but the guys who were actually trying to shoot the movie, they just dropped one, one by one. And they were just, I don't know, what, you, you name it. We came up with a list of, uh, of how, you know, vernacular. For being sick to your stomach, yes. chukin, yeah, uh, uh, forge and a Pollock. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot of names. Forge and a Pollock. I thought that was going to kill Dave. I didn't even know what I mean. Jackson Pollock was an expression. Oh, oh, oh never I, mind. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, and, but, and, and if you think that a tiny space that smells of paint and fiberglass and diesel fumes cannot smell worse, 
it can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and was that, uh, uh, so that too was out in open uh, water. We did that for a couple of days. Most of it was on a gimbal in London, which misses the, that sink. You know, yeah. you, you get on a gimbal and it goes like this, it's like a Rocco plane, you know, but it, it's missing that drop right. that the ocean gives you. Right. So if you, could, you could get through that. With so this, this was a difficult movie to make, yes? It was physical, it was a, yeah, but yeah, and stressful in ways. But after a while, man, we're all, you know, we're all in a team and yeah. we're, we're trying to the get it done. Yeah, it is. And even though you don't understand most of what your co-stars are saying. It's, uh. As a matter of fact, <laughs> when I saw the movie, it was so freeform when we were shooting. And we didn't even meet the guys. I didn't meet my good friends, Barkad, Barkad, Mahat, and Faisal. Mm -hmm. um, until they stormed the bridge, we didn't meet them. And really? So, so, so you're rolling film, yeah. and that's the first time you first meet First time them. we saw them. And they're coming in, and guns are blazing, and they're screaming like crazy. And they are the skinniest, scariest human beings on the planet. We all immediately felt like out of shape middle-aged doofuses next to these wow. guys. And they're coming in and they got, you know, they got everything, rags and bad teeth and rusty guns. And it was, it was, it was so scary for about 35 minutes. And then, then we had a little break. And it was, I, I can't believe I'm making a movie with Fodor's yeah. gun. <laughs> <laughs> so we had that, but that was, I love those guys even more, they were so, they were so sweet. And then, all, all day long, this improvised and stuff crazy, and I did not know what they were saying until I saw the movie and could read the, yeah. uh, the subtitles. Yeah. I said, oh, that's what they were yeah. saying. And they're saying things like, hey, shut up, man, I'm trying to get cigarettes <laughs> off this guy. You know, you had no idea what they were saying. A lot of go Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what they love about Minnesota. Now let me, uh, and, and here's a question maybe you, you, you can't answer, but uh, having seen it now, I think of you as Captain Phillips. There's a, uh, and I don't know if I can say this, there's a, a crucial part in the negotiation. Uh, and it's been pretty much hard line, hard line. Yeah. It's our way, it's our way, it's our yeah. way. And, and then there is a moment of acquiescence. Uh, and I was curious as to why they had this hardline position drawn up to that point if they were going to acquiesce to something. Do you know what I'm talking about? I, I don't know if I do, Dave, but... Uh, uh, see, I don't know if I can well, say it so without... What it, here's what you had. You had a rock in a hard place. The, That's the right. Navy SEALs did not want this to end badly. Mm -hmm. And the pirates did not want it to end badly. Everybody was hoping they were going to get away. And uh, the, the, I think it might be a testament to what a hopeless place Somalia truly is, is when these guys would rather risk losing everything than having to go back and face whatever punishments they're going right. to uh, meet at the hand of essentially lawless, corrupt tribal warlords. Um, it, it's, uh, in that regard, there's a sort of empirical truth to it that's undeniable. There, there was a, uh, a couple of points along the way where they could have walked away well, with $30,000. Yeah. Yeah. Not enough. And no, not enough because they thought if we go back with $30,000, we're going to get berated and kicked around and possibly uh, killed. I think the, the code says it's got to be high eight figures. <laughs> Another, not, didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I tried. I was shooting for it. There, is, there, were, there has been times. I'm going to pull myself out of this, damn it. Um, there have been times with other ships where literally helicopters dropped $5 million in cash and, and the pirates took off. And between that and 30000 it's... What a it's, film. You know, the, the, the problem with a, a movie like this, you only get to see it for the first time once. And it's a, a great movie to see the first time. But you can see it for the second time twice. <laughs> now, wait a minute. No, you can't. Now here's a here's not my strong suit. Here's Dave, an inside baseball question. Yeah, uh, you you filmed this before the Broadway play, is that right? Yes, I did. Yeah. We had the now, now Catherine the Keener, a, yeah. a wonderful actress. Uh, Sorry, it's all right. <laughs> Drives you to the airport. Yes, she does. Yeah, uh, which is the which is the tradition that they do uh, every time Rich goes away for one of his trips. Andrea drives him to the airport, and they talk over everything, and they go over what's going on. Worried about happen. his older son. Yeah, and it's the, and it's the tradition of their home. And uh, right. she said, it's funny. Now, maybe this is just a part of the book. She says, I always go to the gate till his, his plane leaves, and that one time I didn't, and I felt mm -hmm. bad about it. So it's, it's, it, we, they always try to, like, maybe write into some other kind of, like, super melodramatic sure. aspect of it. But this is their life. This is right. what they do. There's, but, all, all it is is uh, it's a standard everyday hard But if you just need somebody to drive him off at the airport. It could have been anybody. Could have been me. <laughs> you know, that, that hug and kiss would have been very uncomfortable, Dave. 
Well, speak for yourself. Take uh, care of yourself, uh, baby. We'll be right back with Tom Hanks. I was so, no, just, no. Getting off, just getting off the chair, I was petrified. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it either. Yeah, hi. Uh, well, uh, our anyway. Hopes and fears. Yes, it was uh, uh, quite a film. Do we have a clip? Maybe we'll take a look at a clip. Sure, you uh, How long is this movie? It's two hours and 20 minutes. It goes by like that. Uh, it goes by yeah, like that. It goes that. by pretty quick, I think. Now, uh, I know uh, in your filmography, you've, you've made, I don't know, 60 movies? 65? Sure. 100? Yeah, why not? And it's impossible to say, oh, I like so-and-so better than so-and-so and so-and-so and better, but this has to be uh, one that's near and dear to your They're heart They're all and great adventures, and you always have a, a moment where you see me and go, man, I, that, that's, that's, that's better than I ever imagined. How many times have you seen the film now? Uh, I've seen it once. Seen it once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it cut a long time ago, but I just saw it recently. You know, it, it's, it's a little tough to see movies on me. I mean, they'll, they'll be on cable after a while, and I'll turn them on for like mm -hmm. 36 seconds, and I'll say things like... Uh, Thursday it was raining. I just had an argument with my son, and I know that's what I don't want to see. I, I remember what was going on isn't when we that, shot isn't this. Isn't that scene. crazy? Yeah. Be, be, because what you try to do is remove that altogether. It, and it's do disbelief. It. Suspend everything. Yeah. But yet, when you see it, it, it brings you right back to your yeah, daily, right that day. daily mundanity. Mm -hmm. Is that a word? Sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's ask Siri. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't realize that the government had shut down Monday top ten rehearsals. Uh, did that, uh, when did that, is that a, is they that did. a Ted Cruz No, thing they did. The... They did, and it's a small sacrifice <laughs> for the, the freedom of this great republic. That's right. Greatest uh, nation in the world, right? Now, here. we have a, uh, a clip. This is going to be exciting to see this clip. It's Captain Phillips. Uh, the streets will be empty. Hospitals will reschedule surgery. Births will be delayed because people will be going to see Captain Phillips. It opens on Friday. Tom, what are we going to see here? Uh, I, this is a moment where there is a looks as though there's a glimmer of chance, and after four and a half or so days, uh, Phillips uh, takes a takes, oh, did a, I takes just a shot. Ask you this? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's I just okay. asked you this. Yeah, it's all right, Sorry. Dave. I love to hear myself talk. <laughs> Uh, this this uh, movie, I don't know what else to say about the movie, but uh, uh, I'll go. You, you and I should go see. Let's it. go, Dave. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hanks, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Phillips. We'll be right back with Two Door Cinema Club, everybody. <laughs>